And now for our weekly news segment. Hey guys, and welcome to our news section. I hope that you had a good week. And today we have a lot of interesting stuff to, to cover. The first one being Camilla Harris wanting to invest in reduced population. I'll play the video, but um, I still have uh, audio issues to fix. Uh, but in the first part, she talks about investing in uh, green energy. And then she wants to invest with her administration in reduced population. Now, they don't care about the planet. They don't care about green energy, right? They don't really care about this stuff. They don't care about the population. They don't care about you at all. Uh, so, and yeah, they want to essentially reduce the population. Now, what does investing in reduced population mean? Does it mean that they're going to implement like China used to have? I don't think they have it anymore. The policy where you can have one to two kids per family? No, I don't think so. Investing would mean that how do we kill people so that we have a reduced population? They're not going to uh, invest in education so that, you know, we can better manage ourselves. Not, not that I believe in overpopulation. Um, you know, it seems that we're going to being uh, underpopulated, which is a whole nother problem in itself. We don't want to be underpopulated. That's going to be a huge, huge problem to too many, many things. Um, but yeah, so by investing in, redu in reduced population it really means that killing the population and um, every single time the leaders talk and they're not leaders. I mean, they're leading us, sure, but not in something good, in something bad. Every single time is to make you uh, stupider, um, to make you more fearful, to get you hooked on on pharmaceuticals and bad foods and stuff like that. So everything that they talk about is in your harm. They don't care about you, your friends, your family. They do not care about it. So, the, but then you might be thinking, why are we talking about this in the Monero Utopia show? We're talking about politics and things like like this because I want to show you that uh, something like Monero is really needed. Something that is private. Uh, so that you know nobody can mess with your finance because the moment they can mess with your your, your finance and they can tell you you can purchase this you can do that like the whole way of living is based around money like you want to buy food you want to do certain activities you want to have fun send money to your friends right so experiences cost money the moment that they can uh control your experiences via money it's over that's gonna be the absolute worst 1984 digital and real life handcuff uh, ever. So, but then even in crypto, it's crazy. And even in blockchain, th this thing that just came out. Um, so it's called, uh, it's from Arkham, I guess, Arkham Intel. And it's the world's first on chain intelligent exchange. So you can buy and sell information on the owner of any blockchain wallet address. So, anonymously via smart contracts. Okay. But, in case you didn't know, so pretty much Monero is like your house, you know, uh, your door is locked. And unless somebody has the key, nobody can get inside. You have curtains so that nobody can see you inside. What do you do? You have walls so that nobody can see what you do inside. When you shower, when you cook, when you dance, whatever you do inside your house. But now in most cryptos, the way that you can imagine it is that your walls are now transparent. People walking by can see you in the house all the time and what you do. They can even go inside your house, right, and take a peek. And you have you, the, the curtains don't work because they can just take it off if they want. So you have you have no privacy at all. Uh, this is crazy. <laughs> I think this is absolutely crazy. And then look, uh, so now we're going to get into CBDCs, actually. Brazil is creating a central bank digital currency using a private version of, Ether of the Ethereum blockchain. Okay. They keep saying this. CBDC yeah, is going to have privacy. You know, don't worry about it. But the code has been modified so they can. At least that's what Crypto T said. Um, create unlimited new coins freeze accounts and take money out of accounts so what's the point right so what's the point of this of course it's to control you you know then let's talk about the united kingdom's digital pound meets public backlash good but why the use of physical currency for transactions is plummeting globally so why is the uk so tentative with its own central bank digital currency to control you um okay so why is cash plummeting? Because there's solutions like, you know, Apple Pay. And it's so easy to just walk around with all your money in the phone instead of having the whole stash, you know, um, all the time on you and coins and they're annoying and they're, they're dirty. And you can just have your phone scan it somewhere and done. You you you, you paid, you know, so that's good. And and it's fast than, than money traveling to another person. You know, like say you want to send physical cash to someone, it's going to go to mail. Uh, but if you send it digitally, like say in Monero, it's so fast and you can send from 
you know, Europe to Asia in like no time, you know? So yes, the future is going to be digital. And this is why cash is plummeting. But they wanted to plummet for a different reason, to get you into CBDCs. Now, um, so they've done, um, they drew some 50,000 responses on CBDCs. And it unleashed, what well, was surprisingly, public <laughs> backlash. People don't want it. Uh, they have widespread public concern about privacy, which makes me very happy, as well as anger over the possible consequences for cash, right? Um, so they think that the digital pound, Bitcoin, will be used to surveil UK citizens, respondents feared, but it could also potentially destabilize the UK financial system because the digital pound will be easier for depositors depositors to move out of commercial banks in times of crisis from promoting bank runs. Okay, that's different. But just let's focus on, on, on privacy, right? Um, yes, you, you're not going to have privacy. And that's the whole point of it is that they can take money from your account. They can freeze your account. They can tell you what to buy. Oh, you bought too much meat, right? And we care about the environment uh, because we're the government and we care. And so now you can't buy any more meat, right? Uh, or, or milk or whatever. So it's frozen. Buy more of this or whatever. Um, so it's just uh, digital and real life handcuffs, essentially. And uh, yes, CBDCs are coming in case you are still not sure about it. Look at China. China is so advanced when it comes to um, the CBDCs. They have the digital yuan, uh, yuan and they're trialing offline payments. So essentially, this is like what, and it's not going to work for iPhone 14 and up because there's no SIM card anymore. But for Androids, they're going to have a super SIM card. This SIM card you take, you put it in your phone, even your phone is, if, if it's dead, right? Your phone is dead. You know, technically you can make appointment, uh, a payment, of course, because it's dead, you can't use it anymore. And that's a problem with digital payments, right? My phone is dead, what can I do now? You know, with cash is there, like it's always there. There's no battery needed. But with this thing, you can actually make offline payments. So that's, that's actually very cool. But I would love to have that into a device that you can you do that with Monero, right? So even if it's powered off, you, you know, you can still um, pay with Monero. That'll be very cool. So yeah, if we take this from CBDCs and we apply it to crypto, I mean, to Monero specifically, uh, that'll be awesome. Uh, look at Russia. Ru the Russian parliament passes digital rubble bill. Now, okay, so so far it's on, uh, on July 11th. Today's July 15th. Uh, it's on the lower chamber of the Federal Assembly of the Russian Federation. So uh, then it's going to move to the assembly's upper chamber and passed to Putin, to president's desk, right? Um, yeah, so Russia wants to have the digital rubble, right? Which I guess I've heard that it's going to be tied to gold. Really interesting, uh, but I'm not sure about that. Then let's discuss the BIS, which is the Bank for International Settlements. Gives the BCs a thumbs up and crypto the middle finger and reports to G20 ministers. So G20 finance ministers and central bank governors are meeting this month together to discuss. Um, so they um, they run through reports, right? One on cryptocurrencies and one on CBDCs. What do they think about uh, crypto, cryptocurrencies? Crypto's inherent structural flaws make it unsuitable to play a significant role in the monetary system. And I agree. I dislike all the cryptos pretty much except Monero for reasons that, you know, we all know privacy and it goes, it goes beyond, you know, it's just really well made uh, monetary uh, system. Right. And, uh, but so they don't like crypto, which is normal. You shouldn't like it. It's transparent. And there's many other issues like, you know, people buying it just to make money and getting off out of it. So it's very speculative, you know, it's not very stable. Most of them, unless, you know, it's something like Monero, which is more stable because people actually want to use it. So that's how you create stability in it. But then they talk about CBDCs. So, okay, crypto sucks. Mm, but how about uh, CBDCs? So they say by underpinning the future monetary system, CBDCs will be the foundation upon which further innovations build. Yes, we want to have a digital solution for the future. I, personally, I don't want to use cash anymore. I want to use Monero. Because I don't want to carry cash. I just don't want to. It's dirty. Everybody's touching it. You know, I don't want the coins. Uh, you know, they're annoying. I want to use something like Monero. Nobody can mess with me. Uh, but this is where the world is headed. They obviously, they disregard Monero. They just look at crypto. And um, they say, okay, yeah, this, this is not good. CBDC is thumbs up, essentially. Okay, so we discussed um, quite a bit about um, CBDCs and that world. So now let's get into Monero. Monero, what's happening in the Monero world? Uh, 
so let's talk about Anon. So I'm really happy that we have Anon on the team. Uh, he, he does such an amazing job in this ecosystem and the stuff that he's building. So he's building something like Amazon. So if you go on anon.market, um, it's going to launch in the summer of 2023. So put your email to get notified. And someone asked, like, okay, so what's the difference between this and Bitejo, Biteo, or Monero Market? Both are already KYC free. Both of the mentioned services seem focused on secondhand or consumer to consumer sales. The goal of a non market is to be more like Amazon, like an Amazon that respects your privacy. Very interesting. Stay tuned, put your email, and um, use it when it comes up. Again, super cool. Uh, huge Cake Wallet update Cake Wallet 4.7.0, Monero.com 1.4.0. <laughs> um, um, I got to drink some water. Actually, I'll do it now. Okay. Mm. Um, so they added support for a lot of cryptos. Uh, Shiba, Aave, Bat, um, Cake, Nexo, uh, GUSD, Crow. Okay, so a bunch of them, essentially. And other things. It's a huge update. Make sure that you update the newest version of Cake Wallet. But then also Cake Pay Mobile to shut down. So why? Um, was it not working? Was there anything wrong? No, everybody loved it. I absolutely loved it as well. Because if the person is not accepting Monero, Use your Monero, buy a gift card anonymously, and then purchase whatever you want from Adidas, from Chipotle, whatever, you know, a bunch of places. So why is it shutting down? It's not because of Cake Wallet. Um, it's because of Ionia, um, who they were using before. They're changing the business model. And um, yeah, so Cake Pay is being affected. Uh, we won't have it for now, but of course, Cake Pay is going to come back and they're doing everything they can do to bring the service back. So... Don't worry, and I hope that Cake Pay was going to come back as soon as possible. And all the best to the Cake Wall team, they can everybody else. Uh, Dash. So, um, due to the US government and their criminal regulations, the amazing Dash Direct program is shutting down. The government has simply made it impossible for DD to continue. This is why you need something decentralized. This is why you want something like Monero, so that, which is also very decentralized. Yes, we have privacy in Monero, but it's so much more than that. It's now ASIC mine, it's CPU mine, it's very decentralized. The more you use it, the fees go down. It's amazing. Like it's, Monero is such an amazing thing, you know? And I'm not and the people in Monero, what's very cool is that they're very open-minded and we're not obsessed about this name Monero, like the Bitcoiners tend to be Bitcoin and nothing else, you know. No, we just really like this technology. If something better comes that is more private, more blah, blah, blah I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna use it. I'm not attached to, to Monero. Monero just is the best option right now. And it's going to get crazy. It's going to get on steroids um, eventually as well with the privacy and everything. But um, yeah, so no more Dash Direct. Da I think Dashcoin used to be called Darkcoin and they, they face pressure, of course. So, so yeah. Um, then we're not going to get it into this too much. This is the evolution of atomic swaps. If you want to learn more about atomic swaps, um, you should definitely go in the, in the description where we have all the links. Click on it to learn about the evolution of atomic swaps from HTLC swaps to hyper private Monero compatible semi scriptless swaps. So you can learn more about it there. Quick mention Celsius co founder Alex Mashinsky arrested, charged with fraud. Alex Mashinsky was behind Chelsea's net, Celsius, Chelsea's, Celsius network. And um, so he is, where was it? Was charged with securities fraud, commodities fraud, and wire fraud for allegedly lying to customers about Celsius financial standing and the nature of its investments. Be careful where you put your money. Take it out with centralized exchanges. Take it out when they promise you 50% on your crypto, uh, you know, APY and all this stuff. Take it out. Just be careful. Be careful and don't use it. If you have anything on Binance, on Kraken, take it out. Put it in something like Cake Wallet. Put it in some wallet. Monaruyo. Just take it out and leave it there. Uh, last thing that we'll talk about is um, an episode that you should check out from us. So this is on the future of uh, Monero in EU, Mika with Robin Renwick, MIDI Poet, Breaking, mi breaking Misconceptions, Monero Scaling and Beyond with Ar Arctic Mine. Amazing. Revolutionizing Privacy with Luke, Sarang, Aram and Rubin on full membership proofs. Packed, packed episode. And you should check it out. The links are right there. So go in the description, click on the Reddit link and then click on those links to, to check it out. Guys, this was this week's new section. It was packed. It was a lot of things going on. Again, if you want me to cover something specifically, make sure to reach out on me on, on Twitter or on Telegram or just Monerotopia, and then we'll, we'll, it's going to get to me eventually. 
um hope that you have you're gonna have a good week next week and we'll see you next time to crazy more crazy stuff <laughs> okay bye everybody